clear, the company needs to be very clear, the producer of the supplement has to be clear on what the what this supplement does for people, right? You know, really, it's, it's a lot of it. And that's why I always talk about, you know, the four sectors of lifestyle and getting your lifestyle and gear and education is so key because you really need to educate yourself. And, you know, it's up to the company sometimes to educate their consumers on what products or what vitamins do to help them. We've, you know, we've had some videos in the past that have gone through some of the vitamins, you know, done the A, B, C, D. You know, what does it, vitamin A, B, C, D do for you? It's always good to be, as, you know, sitting there. Now, the FDA, you know, maybe they just don't have the cycles, but reality, it's, it's the food. That's why they're called the Food and Drug Administration and not the vitamins, you know, the FEA or the SSA with the supplements. They're not up to, so, you know, there are hundreds of companies out there that make supplements, you know, and it really comes down to educating yourself where the gaps are, because that's what supplements do. It really is a gap for your diet. If you have a great diet, there's some people that say, hey, I don't need supplements. But today's food, as we talked about in past videos, you know, it has a lot to be desired, right? A lot of everything's being, not all food is created equal. Now, one last thing with the FDA, you probably see even some foods in the stores that have, say, that are FDA approved and not their processed foods. You're like, wow, that's not even healthy for me, but the FDA approves it. So think about that one for a minute. It's not the magic pill, no pun intended. If something is FDA approved, it's good for you. Remember that. And that's why you got to educate yourself on what you put into your body on a regular basis. And I really hope, you know, our videos here on AMC Health Solutions here on the Facebook page and other other platforms helps educate you. And that's really what we like to do here is educate you on uh, four sectors of health. And as always, if you have any questions, we have the resources uh, out there for you and others uh, if you need any help there. So that is it. So does, why does the FDA approve not approve supplements? It comes down to because supplements are not necessarily food, which is a gray area, and also supplements are not a drug. They are absolutely not drugs. So don't take that to heart. Have a good day. Uh, we're in weather forecast, right? Yeah, we're about to have a lot of rain here in uh, New England this weekend. So we're right before we're supposed to move in this afternoon. We we're kind of a rainy Sunday. Uh, and uh, last but not least, what the heck happened with the Bruins last night? What in the world is going on? We have a game seven on Sunday night. <laughs> Let's hope it's not a disaster. Have a good day. We'll be there. Jeff D. And